We've got everything set up here. The way the game works is we're gonna take turns drafting cards from this tableau here in the center. You can win by pushing your military towards one of either side, known as the military supremacy, or you can win by collecting uh, six of these different science symbols. That's known as a scientific victory. And on your turn, you can only choose from one of the currently accessible cards. And as the game goes, we'll reveal more of these cards. So any card that's not covered is one we could, we could grab. If you ever combine two science symbols, you also can draft one of these progress tokens that all have different abilities. The other rule here is that we can only build seven wonders in total between the two of us. So once the seventh is built, the last one goes back in the box. So it's important to try and get the jump on me. It. Yeah. Let's get started. So you are the first player. All right. I'm feeling very good about playing Seven Wonders Duel against Rob because we played a few times and I've won every single time. I'm feeling a little bit nervous because honestly, Abby's been on a killer win streak, but all of that's been off camera and I have a feeling once the camera turns on, things are gonna be a little bit different. So I'm gonna take the lumber yard here, which is has no cost, so it's free. So yep. that's my card now. My strategy early in the game is to collect as many brown and gray resource cards as possible. Those are the building blocks for the entire game and going forward in later ages, they get harder to get. So I'm gonna prioritize that first. So I'm gonna pay one coin for the stone pit. And he just revealed this which card. Which produces stone. In the second one. row, so let's flip that over. I think I am gonna pay one coin to grab this glass bottle. So since I produce stone with this card here, uh, I have the resources available to purchase the baths, which I think I will do. And then you reveal, reveal another card. Another card in the second row. I think I'm gonna take the military card for free because I do already produce wood, lumber. And that means I get to move the military track one step closer to Rob's side. Bum, bum, bum. Okay. 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 I'm going to grab that while it's there. So I'm going to pay one coin for my brick. So I now produce stone and brick. I'm going to pay nothing for the apothecary because I already produce a glass. I don't know what that's called. So glass. Is, is it glass? I was like, is it metal or glass? Glass works. works. It's glass because glass works. the glass works produces it. I'm going to take the quarry. I knew he was going to do free. That. Yep. I am going to pay two coins and I'm going to grab, I'm just going to try and put some military stress on Rob because I have lost this game on the military track before. And now's probably a good time to mention, I'm going to pick up the garrison for one brick. So if you notice that symbol up in the corner, that's going to connect this card to a card in a future age. So those can be really valuable to pick up early and help you build stuff for cheaper in the future. So I picked up the garrison that allows me to move it back. So we're kind of playing tug of war here a little bit, it just kind of goes back and forth. Okay, I feel like I'm running kind of low on coins. I really don't want to pay two coins for that. I'm gonna go with the altar, with it, which is simply just worth three victory points. Feel this? No. Another brick. No. Could I benefit from more brick? I could. I feel terrible that Rob keeps getting all these brown cards. I feel like every time I turn over a card, it's the perfect card that I had just needed. I'm definitely envious of Rob's card collection right now. Um, looks like I'm paying two for the pharmacist because it's the only thing. You can also, which we haven't done yet, but you can also choose to discard a card and you'll get two coins plus one coin for every yellow card you have in your city. So if she were to discard one of these now to get more gold, she would only get two coins but maybe you pick up a yellow card now and future discards could be worth something. You know what? I am gonna discard the pharmacist. I don't want this card. On the flip, Rob gets another resource. Hmm, do I want that? No, I want it. I mean, I can use it, but I also lock you out of it. It just seems obvious to buy this. So I'm, gonna, I'm gonna buy this too. And of course, the next card is another resource for Rob. And these cards are super important, so I'm feeling really good that I got this many so early in the game. All right, so I'm gonna spend three to buy the wood reserve. Okay. And let All me right. guess, this is going to be a beautiful brown card for Rob. I'll pick up the tavern. It's free. It's a yellow card, but also gains me four coins right away, so I'll grab that. You know what? I think I'm going to try and lock, that. lock Rob out of wood. I'm going to pay one yep. and grab the logging camp. I only need one wood for my wonders, so I'm just being um, gluttonous right now. So one thing we didn't mention yet as well is the trading rules. So if I don't have a particular resource in my city and I need to access it, I have to pay two coins plus one per building that she has that produces that. So at this point, if I wanted to get wood, you don't count the yellow cards, but you count the browns. 
So I would have to pay four coins for every wood I want to get, which is expensive. Almost all of my wonders take wood to build, so I'm feeling a little bit nervous that Abby managed to completely monopolize wood. This is going to get expensive. So I really only have one choice, and I don't want to discard this for gold, so I'll just grab it and progress my token one. Okay, so I think I am just going to, hmm, I'm going to discard this for gold. And because I already have a yellow card, so I get three. I guess so. And I went last, so I'll get to choose who goes first next time. So I'll, I'll just grab that for free. All right. And so that's the end of age one. Now we're moving on to age two. And since I went last, I get to pick who goes first this time. And I'm definitely going to go first because I want that wood really bad. Uh, so I'm going to pay two coins for this. Oh, that was a close one. I'm so happy I picked up wood so early on in age two. I was really worried that I wasn't going to be able to build any of my wonders without paying tons of coins. Got lucky again. So I think I am just going to open a can of worms. I'm going to ditch the walls. I can't produce those. For three coins. I got three coins. Okay. okay. Reveal, Reveal these two more. For Rob. Okay, so I think I'm going to build a wonder at this point. All of the wonders that you build in the game have different abilities. Um, it'll tell you right here what they do. Some of them allow you to take another turn. So I think I'm going to pay three coins plus wood and two bricks. So I'm paying three coins because she can produce one glass. So my trading rule is two plus one, so three. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and build this. So what you do is you pick one of these cards. So I think I'm going to take, I think I'm going to take this. So put this under, I get to destroy a gray card of hers. All right. I progress the military one, and at the end of the game, I'll gain three victory points. I am going to discard this for three coins. Okay. So I keep discarding a lot of cards for coin, and that's something you do not want to be doing in this game. I'm in trouble. I'm going to build another wonder, taking this one. I'm going to build this wonder. So I have brick, stone, and two wood, and I get to take another turn. So this wonder has been built, so I can now produce glass or parchment, I believe it is, paper, mm -hmm. uh, once per turn. Either one, not both. And this is two brick and a glass, so I'm going to go ahead and grab this one. Okay. And progress two. And now that I've reached this spot, I discard this, and Abby has to discard two coins. Okay. Goodbye. We reveal these. Well, Rob already has one of these. I'm just going to discard it. I can't afford any of these cards. Um, so let's just try and sabotage Rob. All right, so I'm going to sell this for three points. Okay, I'm going to build the Appian Way. I'm going to grab this. I gain three. Sorry, babe, you discard this. three. And I take another turn. I'm going to grab this. Obviously. I'll buy some of this. Uh, so I really, I only have one choice here based on what's currently available, and I might as well build it. It's worth points. Okay. I will grab the drawing room. I'll do this. Okay. Brick, wood, parchment, and progress two. You could produce one parchment? Yes. So to buy parchment, I'd have to pay three, right? Yes. So I'm just going to pay the three, and I will buy this, which will give me a match. All right, so we have a match. Because I made that match, I get to pick one of these five green tokens. That's not the progress name. tokens. <laughs> I get to pick one of these progress tokens. I want one that says I win the game, but that doesn't exist. My next best bet is, I really like theology because a lot of my wonders don't have the take a second turn. However, my fear is that realistically, I won't be building a lot of wonders which is kind of pathetic based well, on my resources. Well, even if I build the fourth, you still have an opportunity whenever you want to build three more. Yes, I'm very far behind on what I need to build them, though that's what my concern is. Let's just take Theology. I'm close to the pyramids. Maybe get a second turn. Maybe turn the corner here. That was the one that caught my eye, too, honestly. All right. Yeah. So I'm grabbing Theology. I think the science match is the turning point of the game. Theology is so powerful, especially when my wonders all didn't have the take another turn symbol. I'm hoping to make up some momentum here. Honestly, I'm feeling pretty comfortably in the lead here, but I'm a little worried that she might start to come back, especially since she picked up Theology, which is a pretty powerful progress token. I'll build this for free. This is free. 
Helps my, uh, gives me some coins. So I can build this for free mm. because I have the horseshoe yep. here. So I'll grab this and then we'll push Rob away from me for my five coins. I'm gonna grab this for free. I have the sword symbol. These connect, so I'll build that for free and push it back one. So right here is a really tough choice for me because I really mm. need resources um, to build my wonders. You do need paper. To I build. really do need paper to build two of them. So I do think that I should prioritize building the statue of Zeus. So I am gonna pay all of my money for the customs house. You have no gold right now. I am broke, mm. broke. Okay. Broke. I'll build. Do I want to give you brick? You don't really need brick I that badly. You don't really benefit it, from it that much. But I can't pay for it. Well, well, you can't even pick up that card anyway. I can't pick up that. So card. I'm gonna take this because you're gonna be forced to discard that anyway. This is just okay. so lovely. <laughs> okay, so and and I can't even pay to build my wonder yet because unfortunately I still have to pay this. We're gonna discard the brickyard, okay. which is depressing, and you really need this card, but unfortunately, I can't afford it. So then I'm gonna get four coins? Yes. All right, so now we're on to age three. So this game definitely ramps up too. Like if you're behind, you could definitely come back because most of the points are scored in this final round for oh, sure. Oh, let's hope. You know what, I'm gonna be a really good sport, and I think I'm gonna let Rob go first. Okay. Because I don't want either of those. I am just gonna build this. Uh, I'll build the arena. So I get six coins. You're welcome. So I'm thinking I'm actually gonna build a wonder. I feel like the Great Lighthouse is probably the thing I need the most. And it's the cheapest for me to make. It only costs one coin. So I'm gonna buy a scroll for my customs house. And then I get to block one of these. So the Great Lighthouse lets me- Whoa, in some trouble there, dude. <laughs> the second I saw that three military shield card get flipped, I just had a feeling Rob was drooling so excited to destroy me with a military victory. So a three shield card just got flipped. I think this is exactly what I need. If I can pick this up on my turn and then build the Colossus on the turn after that, I think I've got military supremacy in the bag. <laughs> so the Great Lighthouse lets me go again because of theology. Oh, right. Oh, no. Oh, I forgot about theology. And then oh, I get I thought I had that. No, no, you definitely do not have that. <laughs> no. So I get to go again, and now I finally have the Great Lighthouse to help me produce some more stuff. I'm going to discard this card. Yes, clearly. Oh, uh, goodbye. Damn. So I get four coins for discarding yep. that. You do produce stone, so that's not great. But you might also be destroying my wood soon, so that might be good to lock in this town hall while I can is worth a lot of points. Mm -hmm. And blue cards are the tiebreaker. So if we were to tie, it's gonna score, whoever has more blue card, points from blue cards would win. Hmm. So I put my six back and I'm gaining two mm -hmm. back as change. For my third stone, mm -hmm. I'm gonna build the town hall. Mm -hmm. um, I'm gonna pay one coin and I'm gonna build the obelisk. Mm, I'm gonna build this for free. Okay. So on my turn, I'm actually going to build another wonder. And I think this time around, I'm gonna build the Temple of Artemis, because I really need some money. I'm gonna put this one under, because okay. you have this one matching that. Um, so I instantly get 12 coins and I get another turn. When I built those two wonders in a row, I was like, you know what? I think I see a glimmer of hope here, and I wanna keep that momentum going. For my second turn, I am going to, I'm gonna build fortifications for free, because I have the matching symbol here try and take some heat off of my military by moving this back to for a drop. All right, I'm gonna build the circus because I have a chain that can build that for free. And I'm gonna try and threaten you a little bit. So we'll move up to. Okay, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and build a wonder. And I am going to build the pyramids because I get my shelf quarry. I have the great lighthouse and I have the drying room. And I'm going to get rid of the Senate because you seem to love these victory points cards. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay, so because of theology, after I build the pyramids, I get to go again. Yep. The gift that keeps on giving. I'm just gonna go ahead and build the statue of Zeus and lock you out of the Colossus by building the seventh yeah, wonder of the game. I probably should have built that earlier. Okay, Oops. so I have to pay one for the drawing room. I'm gonna remove the Chamber of Commerce. So 
Abby built the fourth wonder. I definitely messed that up. I should have built the fourth wonder earlier. For some reason, I kept forgetting about theology. She definitely got me with that one. Goodbye, Sawmill. Bye-bye. That's a very good card. And so I think now I get to and go... And now you get to progress your military as well. Oh, yes. Okay. And then I get to go again. Theology's doing work. Yeah. I'm going to grab Pantheon. I have to pay one gold for a scroll. I'm going to grab the Merchant's Guild, I think. Let me see how much this costs. So I have brick. I have no wood, which I would have to pay quite a lot for. I have glass and scroll. Mm -hmm. So I would have to pay four for a wood. Mm -hmm. Gosh, but this is worth only three points. This mm. is also worth three points and costs you no money. Yeah, and gets me a lot of gold. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's just clearly better. Because I'm going to get one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I'm going to get six gold yeah. from this. So yeah, we'll build the armory and get six gold. So Abby just helped me pick the better card. That was so sweet of her. I think she knew this was going to go on the internet and she wanted to prevent me from making an embarrassing mistake. So thank you, Abby. I really appreciate it. I'm going to go ahead and grab the Merchant's Guild. I have to pay one coin for glass, but I have everything else. Reveal this. Yep. So I get this now or later? Uh, you get the gold now. So Points later. So you would is get it in every city? four. Because it's for your city too. Yep. So I'll grab four. Whoever has the most. So let's see, I have two glass. Oh my goodness. You are just getting brick. so lucky on these dark. <laughs> so I have to pay four for wood. So I'll do that. And I'll pick up the palace. All right, I'm going to pay two for the academy. I need to pay for two glass. Two cards revealed, getting down to the wire here. Yes, uh oh. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna build this for free. I have the connection oh. for that. So I'm gonna go boop boop. Oh no. So you Abby. You drop it like that, like mic drop it. <laughs> Alright, so Abby discards five ah, gold. Alright, well luckily luckily I'm rich. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Poo poo you. And I'm gonna go ahead and build the ship owners guild. And I pay one coin for glass to do that. So now I get one coin for the most. Early. Yeah, so you would you would get six. Alright, I'll grab six. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah. Alright, and I'm gonna grab this one. So two stone. A brick and parchment, I can't afford those. Mm -hmm. So that's going to allow me to immediately gain six, set one, two, three, four, five, six, seven coins. And seven points at the end of the game. Uh, right. I guess lastly, I'll take the lighthouse. Um, I produce one brick, but I would have to buy a second brick. How much could a brick cost, Michael? <laughs> <laughs> I'll pay the four. I'll grab this. Okay. And then I get one point per yellow card. In the one gold. Oh, sorry, one gold, and then it's... So you get four gold. So that was worth it. There you go. All right. Okay, so that's the end of the game. Let's count up our scores. So we reached the end of age three. No one scored a military or scientific victory. Uh, you're going to total points from military first. So I get zero. Sorry. Victory points from your building. So this counts everything. Purple, uh, blue, green, yellow, and purple. Okay, so it's 32. Mm-hmm. Uh, victory points from your wonders. So that's 16. Uh, victory points from progress tokens, none. And then each complete set of three coins is worth one point. Six. Plus six. So Abby's final score is 54. Let's count up mine and see what happens. It's gonna okay. be a lot. So military <laughs> points, I have 10 plus points from building. So it's gonna be seven, 38. Victory points from wonders is eight. No progress tokens. And then I have two, four, six, seven. Okay, Rob's final score is 63. That was a great game. I actually think it was a lot closer than Abby thought it was. I only won by nine points, but glad to be the victor. I think it was a good game. I'm just surprised I didn't lose by more. Rob, here's your trophy. Ta-da! Congrats, Rob. Nice win. I'll get you next time. Thanks for watching us play Seven Wonders Duel. Hope you enjoyed it. If you want to see more board game content playthroughs like this, please hit the subscribe button and we'll see you next time.